Hallo und welcome back zu einer weiteren Ukraine-Sondersendung. Ihr wart alle so lieb und habt uns Fragen reingeschickt für Lisa. Ihr kennt die aus der letzten Sendung. Sie ist aus der Ukraine nach Warschau geflohen und hat uns die alle beantwortet. Hey, um, it's Lisa from Ukraine and yeah, I just received questions from you guys and want to answer them in this video. Um, I'm in Warsaw in Poland right now at the moment and the living situation here is much calmer of course but still a bit of stress everywhere especially when you check the news but what I am doing at the moment is trying to make this balance of life, work, studies and war. I mean, because war will not go out from every Ukrainian life and not just Ukrainian. So yeah, I'm just trying to make it balanced. Yeah, just trying to find a job and be more productive here. Because crying and thinking just about that things will not, will not make it work for sure. I can say that I'm good, despite the, the fact that um, my mom is in Ukraine still and my friends, some of them are here and some of them are in Ukraine. So yeah, but what I should say is that in Poland people greet Ukrainians so good and uh, yeah, I can say I feel kind of home here. Sometimes I want to cry, but We'll skip this part. <laughs> All good. Just trying to be positive, trip to be strong, to keep going, moving on. And this is what we all should do right now at the moment. The best way we can help is just to continue living, helping, do not forgetting about it, protesting, uh, showing world what we really think. My daily routine is simple. As I'm studying at the university and it continues working, I have my lectures, lessons in the morning. Then I go web and scroll all working positions, doing my portfolio, making my CV, and uh, and yeah, just trying to learn more Polish language because I'm here in Warsaw and planning to stay here. Yeah, looking for the information, doing all the time researches, because, yeah, because, yeah, as I am not from here, a lot of new things to learn and to get used to. Yeah, this is my daily routine. And usually I also meet with some people, especially from Ukraine, because, yeah, it helps sometimes to feel home and to feel better. And also meet with some Polish people, volunteering. Actually, super, super hard when I go to Ukraine. Soon will be Easter holiday and everything, everything. Just want to continue my life in Lviv. But it's like a dream right now. <laughs> I mean, it's super crazy. I just want to go and... But yeah, planning to stay here and settle down here. Because it's like a goal to move to it. And to just yeah continue living. <laughs> I mean always trying to push myself in this direction because sometimes hands are down but we need to move on <laughs> I want peace everywhere and uh, what I understood during this period and not only that life is not about justice so my wish will be to make a bit more justice <laughs> to see happy people, to, to see happy Ukrainians, to see our independent country, to see bright future for Ukraine, to see Ukrainian European Union, to... Uh, I really, I just miss my city, my previous life so much. I just want to meet my university friends, go for a coffee. So yeah, my wish is to live in a peaceful world where everybody respect each other, love each other, 
where all people are super happy and I guess when war will end everybody will be super crazy happy <laughs> oh I just can imagine this picture of everybody hugging each other like yay As I was an exchange student in Siegen a few years ago, I'm not just for one time, actually for two. I have, of course, a lot of memories from Siegen, like a lot. It was not a long time in Siegen, but yeah, I remember the first exchange year. I remember every student from that group. I remember my host sis, Nella. I mean, oh, I'm, gee, I'm so missing this period. <laughs> When German students came to Ukraine, we went to Kupas and Mountains. I mean, see Germans in Ukrainian culture. <sighs> That's what you should all see. I mean, every, every moment, every moment. <sighs> it's like I have the things, you know? <laughs> so yeah, if there will be possibility, I for sure recommend you to take part in such a program. Because it's super good. It's super makes you super happy and yeah i'm still in touch with all students nearly all miss english lessons music lessons oh there's so many emotions what we can do as just humans is just to not stop talking about it because life is continuing but still some people may forget and uh, yeah they will have their own problems but the key is not to forget about it, to talk about it. Of course, as every Ukrainian, I wish NATO will close the sky and everything it will end. Because it's just simple. But the third world war may start if they will make such a big move. So I'm a bit in doubt about it. But what we need to do is just to yeah, help Ukraine with weapons, with some humanitarian help. Yeah, this is what I'm also doing here and what everybody should do who loves Ukraine and yeah, I hope that everyone will have choice to go there because it's super special. I mean, I can be your tour guide and live for sure. <laughs> yeah, for you all. We are all humans and we need to be all together. Yeah, hope you guys are good doing great try to make this balance in life and uh, yeah i wish one day i can show you a bit of lviv a bit of ukraine a bit of kiev and a bit of kupes and mountains of course <laughs> bye bye Vielen Dank an Lisa, wir haben auch noch etwas in eigener Sache und zwar suchen wir neue Redaktionsmitglieder, also falls ihr hier Texte schreiben wollt oder sogar mit vor der Kamera sitzen wollt, könnt ihr euch gerne melden, denn Cecile und Senna sind offensichtlicherweise in der letzten Woche und äh, kriegen bald ihr Abitur und verlassen uns dann leider, heißt das ist auch die letzte Sendung mit Cecile und letzte Sendung war die letzte Sendung mit Senna. Ähm, deswegen erstmal ein herzliches Tschüss und äh, falls ihr hier gerne mitwirken wollt, könnt ihr euch gerne melden über YouTube, TikTok, Teams oder Instagram, wo ihr uns auch gerne folgen könnt. Tschüss. Ich möchte Tschüss. erwähnen, dass die letzte Sendung auch die erste Sendung mit Sana war, aber ist okay. Ja, die hat viel beschäftigt. Ja, ja.